I I went to sea when I was 19. So it's been uh, 1996 was my first year at sea. And, uh, um, pretty much lived at sea continuously since then until I met my wife um, uh, six years ago and started living on land but I still spend more than half of the year at sea and uh, um, uh, I've got a little four-year-old boy now which is a uh, 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 very interesting evolution of my life and, uh, um, but yeah, uh, on my time on Braveheart, I've been on Braveheart since 1998 <laughs> and uh, we've been to most of the southern Antarctics and a pretty fair chunk of the South Pacific and um, South Africa, South America and, and the bottom parts of Australia as well. So most of our trips have been primarily uh, what we would call remote location support. So people like yourselves that want to go to remote places need a boat to get there and need a boat to support them while they're doing their activities so uh, ham radio uh, bird watching trips um, which is quite similar actually um, marine biologist trips um, support for crazy people that want to go on rowing expeditions and this is very tough you know tough job it's and uh, what tough job. yeah yeah, yes. and yeah. What <laughs> What keeps you, you know, going and on, uh, like... Uh, uh, definitely the, the thing that keeps me going um, is, uh, is the fact that we get to go to beautiful remote places and do fun stuff and very unique stuff. Whenever I go to maritime school um, to get new qualifications, I'm pretty much the only one that still is really enjoying my job and, uh, um, and still the... Um, the few that still was on their first wife <laughs> still has a relationship with their child um, but uh, yeah most of the guys at school uh, working oil and gas or cargo ships um, and they just do the same thing every day and uh, um, we get to go to beautiful remote places and with interesting different people all the time and uh, and always um, some of these radio trips follow a similar pattern as far as setup operation pull down and the transportation there and, there and back but uh, um, it's, it's the locations and, and the operator individuals themselves as well which yeah, makes it a lot of fun. Dangerous moment. Yeah. Um, I would say anything to do with the Southern Ocean um, is pretty exciting and dangerous especially once you get down to where we are now when the water temperatures down below four degrees. Um, that means that there's icebergs around. Generally there's fog in this, um, like we're experiencing right now, in the convergence zone. Um, and so at the same time as we lose visibility, we gain ice and it gets, it gets exciting. Uh, but then at the same token, um, up in the tropics, you can have a beautiful glassy calm day and, uh, and there's uncharted coral. Um, places where scientists or, or ham radio guys want you to go so um, yeah there's uh, exciting scary bits in, in every every part but the, the waters down here tend to get steeper and, uh, and bigger and angrier and, yeah. <laughs> what is your dream <laughs> what's my dream <laughs> <laughs> that's a good question I've spent so much of my life making other people's dreams come true um, I haven't really stopped to make many of my own um, my dream at the moment is to uh, is to be a good dad. Yeah. Um, and what is your advice or a message for the future generation? Yeah? Uh, uh, don't spend too long at school. 
<laughs> yeah, um, don't don't stay focused on trying to learn one thing too much. Try and learn as many things as possible, and uh, and keep learning. Yeah, and, and have as much fun as possible.